Welcome to the I Still Can't Believe It's a Thing world of cruise ships. Today we're looking at just how prone to unmitigated disaster this industry is. As we can see, the Carnival Legend boat is ripping the Carnival Glory boat a new bloody Carnival Glory hole. It shouldn't be this easy to get another boat's port rammed well and truly up your stern. Do these vessels have captains? Do they ever have anybody at the wheel? It is so important you get back to your ship on time. If they say they're departing at five, be at the dock at five because they will fucking cheese it. You have to consider your priorities. Do you stay with your husband and kids on board or do you go have a bender on dry land and potentially never see them again? I can't tell if this Sheila is happy or sad. Don't get involved. Don't get involved with people's lives out at sea. There are so many intoxicated loose wankers on cruise ships. It adds up since there's unlimited booze packages. This Sheila at the back is so drunk. Not only has she removed her pants, but she's also buggering up the YMCA dance moves. It only has four moves. The moves are the letters. Fuck me. Seriously though, maritime law is dodgy. Underage drinkers don't need free flow liquor in legally ambiguous open waters. Just ask Annie. Oh, well you can't. Annie has blacked out. Let's cross over to the upper deck. Wow, that looks relaxing, peaceful, serene. This is the place to be. Sorry for destroying your speakers. Look at this. This ship has an inbuilt water park. Whee! <laughs> and she's stuck. Yeah, no, nah, it's a cheap water park. The industry doesn't like spending money on doing shit properly. Let's see if the second Sheila can unblock the first one. Nah, they're both stuck. Does anyone have a hundred foot long, two meter wide pipe cleaner? Just bloody funnel it in there and poke them out into the pool. Back inside, there's a fight. Everyone's on edge because they've got gastro. The first mate says, bugger this, I'm off to the bistro. These youngsters are yelling, Kiara, it's not worth it, walk away! This crew member picks a fight with our cameraman. I feel bad for staff always under pressure to destroy evidence of how dodgy this industry is. The captain has put the boat on autopilot so he can come get involved in the shenanigans. This is probably the interior footage that matches our exterior footage at the beginning. No one is driving because they're all pissed and fighting. Oh fuck this, no, no way Jose. This is the last thing you want to see staff members doing. Is this a sinking ship or a busted sewerage pipe? Either scenario is bad. A busted sewerage pipe is worse. Haha, <laughs> work on cruise ships, they said. Stand around in feces, they said. It will be fun, they said. Quit, just walk out. I mean, don't walk out, but quit. Over to the fancy ass dining room. Wow, that looks relaxing. I guess chalk this up as another day where you can't use amenities or enjoy your holiday. The ocean does not give a flying fuck about your relaxation. So in turn, because they operate on the ocean, cruise ship companies feel justified not giving a flying fuck about you and your journey for relaxation. Overall, this tugboat sinking due to the way a cruise ship is parked sums up the ethics, destructiveness and ignorance of the industry. Fuck the planet, fuck the ocean, fuck the paying customers. Yeah, nah, yeah, I feel bad for a lot of businesses in 2020, but not this one. Put it to rest, let it die.